asked it to be a terrific Tuesday. We've got terrific things that we're going to be talking about. And of course, <laughs> it really will be awesome and fun. Okay. So uh, if you're ready, I am ready. All right. 9.47. And that's the time check. 9.47 p.m. right here on my side. And this is your premium talk station. is voice of the people VOP 90.3 FM in Lagos. We broadcast in live. You can actually check us out streaming and online voice of the people 90.3 FM. Just go check it out right there. And all the social media, we are alive and YouTube. As a matter of fact, you can check us out right this minute. All right. So without wasting any of your time, I will be talking about something that that is probably one of the scariest thing in the country as a matter of fact ever since that the government the present government took over that has been Sakba in town and I'm wondering how is it going to look like this December when people are suffering no money how are they going to do what they're going to do this December so today <laughs> we're talking about Sakba December Sakba December how to maximize or how to manage your Sakba December caused by the present government whether you like it or not ever since the present government came in uh there's been sakba in the town it's not it's not like the way it was before okay so everything skyrocketed the first time even before uh our man got into office but anyway that's not what we're talking about we're talking about how you can manage sakba <laughs> this december <laughs> and today i have someone that i'm going to be talking with um she is a life coach and i'm going to be putting down her profile so you know i'm going to be talking with her she's really going to be you know talking with us about how to manage this i don't know uh we're going to have a little chit chat before the phone lines will be open for all of my people in the vop community uh-huh so uh, i'm going to be hearing from you also for those of you that think you you think you know exactly how you can manage Sakma because I know a lot of people are not going to travel this, this this December. This festive season is supposed to be a season where people were supposed to go meet their family, you know, travel out to have a vacation. But it's not happening to a lot of people because of the economic downturn, because of the craziness in the economy, because of the hikes of things. Transportation is crazy. Everybody is looking up and who is going to give them some hampers. I personally am looking for some hampers. I want some hampers. So who is going to give me some hampers? Everybody who has little, they are now looking at their pocket. Like we, we have to be very careful what we give out. Because the Sakma has gone round everywhere. Believe me. What are you rich? <laughs> <laughs> what you don't have much it's in your house is all up in your face so today we're talking about sakba for those of you that don't understand what sakba means how to manage sakba to december you know anybody out there can actually tell me what you think your experience if you are going to be you know you know if you're going to have a low budget or not however if you're going to have a low budget, <laughs> if you're going to be calm, like silent, like you don't, you don't need to do too much. That'll be better for you because who knows how long the supply is going to take us. We don't know exactly where the supply is taking us to. So, um, for those who don't understand the meaning of Sakba and for those who are actually listening to us and watching us streaming straight up from outside the country who doesn't really know exactly what the meaning sakba is i'm gonna i'm gonna you know let you know what it means 
Sakma is a slang. Okay? It's a slang in the country here in Nigeria. And uh uh I definitely going to let you know about that soon enough. Okay? But it's a slang used for um broke uh when you can afford certain things when you cannot afford certain things <laughs> you understand it's actually an Nigerian slang that has you know gained popularity in recent years and it's actually describes you know you know the situations where one doesn't have what one desires or you don't have enough money or you're broke or you need it's also often used in contexts where you know there is a sense of disappointment of or sadness the younger generation as a matter of fact the gen z's typically uses this slang as they are the ones who are most often affected by the situation the youth are the one most affected by the situations of sakba you understand most youths don't have anything doing and sometimes when you when you're done school and you don't even see the job to do and because of the situation of the economy people are actually leaving they're laying off a lot of people in jobs some people are working two jobs and three jobs and one person uh working two persons job in for the same price you know so i i hope that helps and uh you know we, we're just going to be getting into what well, what we are supposed to talk about today as i said before we talk about sakba how to manage sakba this december because it's really really hard and i also have some you know some ways that you can actually put on stuff but today i don't know i have um pastor bc who happens to be my friend and um she's a live coach we're going to be talking about you know i'm going to be asking a question because she's got something off her sleeves so um if she's ready i'm going to you know have her if she's listening right now uh i'm going to have her on the show before the phone lines will be open and then we're going to start talking okay so um she is a life coach uh she is she sees into so many things okay uh her name is Ola BC Oluyele Adebi a multifaceted professional um with expertise as uh as a coach a life coach a speaker and of course an immigration consultant with a proven track record of achieving peak <laughs> peak performance she has made significant contributions in the human resources yeah uh consulting sector having worked with two consultant firms and three organizations uh she's uh a demonstrating exceptional leadership and management skill uh well obviously achieved you know uh a net worth milestone of becoming the country's manager for one of the united kingdom's top five university colleges with just five years after you know completing uh the national youth service corps now as a versatile and pragmatic leader olabasi leverages her knowledge skills and uh, life experiences to assist individuals in developing coping mechanisms for navigating uh, uh life's challenges she's good at that and i tell you what she's one of the people when i wanted when i wanted to do some nasty she was one of the people who who spoke to me and said you are my friend you don't need to do that you just need <laughs> <laughs> to do certain things and not that really so i mean she's really good in talking people to do things now beyond her professional pursuit the lavacy is a, a dedicated sexual purity 
Advocates. <laughs> uh, she used her voice to champion causes such as sexual abstinence. Yeah, in the time we had to talk about that sexual abstinence, she was what we were supposed to call, and she we were supposed to have. Uh, and but she was not in the country at that time. It was hard to get her. Now, so I mean, a lot of this. Um, she used a voice to champion causes such as sexual in uh, uh, abstinence, comprehensive um, uh, sex education for teens, and addressing issues like rape, sexual molestation, of course, exploitation, and peer pressure. She's good. She has a power to talk to teens, and they do exactly what is right. Driven by a personal passion for people improvement, the Labrissi channels her effort. This through various avenues, including training sections, one-on-one -on -one coaching, public uh, uh, speaking engagement, and mentoring. She's good at mentoring. She's a life coach. She's 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 a professional in self-development. So I mean, if I begin to talk, it, it is not going to is we're not going to end it. And um, I am ready to have her so we can talk about sakpa you know a lot of people don't even know how to manage their anger strike and the brokenness that is going on in the country uh she is one of that kind who can talk about it i don't know she's got something to say so now we are going to have her We're going to have her and um, of course she will be talking about it. We, we're going to have a cheek chat and she's going to let us know exactly what she think. Okay. All right. So get ready, everyone. All you need to do is just get close to your radio. Call everyone to be close to your radio. I just want to take a little break and uh i'll just take a little break for a minute and i'll be right back so all you need to do is get ready get close to your radio because after we finish talking with her we will be having the phone lines open <laughs> you're gonna call and tell us if you've got any experience how do we handle this akba this is ember it's going to be people don't have things nothing is is working for a lot of people and it's it's bad to see that people that were supposed to go for okay people that are supposed to go for uh for the holidays go see their family and and enjoy life this festive season they wouldn't okay so we're going to be talking about that. So you guys get ready. I'll take a little break so I can fix things. And then we're going to come back. Just one minute break. And we'll, we'll be back.
welcome back, you're welcome back, you're welcome back. It's three minutes gone past the hour of 10 o'clock. The nighttime show is what you're checking out right this minute. And I am Orn with uh, Ola Bissi. I, I call him Pastor, uh, Pastor Bissi. Pastor Bissi, you are there? Are you there? Hello? Okay, uh, where are you? Let me see. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Can you hear me? I can hear you loud and clear, but I can't see you. I can see the ceiling. Okay, you definitely, but I can't see you your definitely face. <laughs> see me now. Can you see me now? Oh, there you are. Yes, this, this is moi. This is moi. Okay. So... Today, I, I'm very thankful that I just, you know, read your profile out to the world. You got a lot going, a lot going, and you kind of, I mean, I'm, you're not going to, you're not going to get angry if I call you a superwoman, right? Hey. <laughs> okay, so, Sakma December, let's get straight to the point. Sakma December. I really don't know where you are right now, but uh, I think uh, the clarity is we're, we're going to manage I'm it. I'm being suffered this evening. <laughs> I've been suffered this evening by, by THCN. Um, and then I tried to put on the generator, and the generator decided to suffer me as well. Yeah. Okay. So I'm just that I can. It's okay. All so, right. I mean, we're all in this together. <laughs> all right. So, about December, how do people manage this December? You know, I don't want to link it to anything, as you said, but then, of course, um, ever since this present government came in, <laughs> into office, everything has been so high. People find it very difficult. Look, this December is going to be crazy. A lot of people are not traveling. Um, people can eat no chicken, no turkey, no nothing. I think how are people going to? I mean, you you're a life coach. You've got a lot going with you. I mean, you know exactly how to, you know, you know to inject certain things into the minds of people. Do you have any idea? What is your overview? First of all, I, I, let's talk about this Akbar first before we get into how people can manage this December. Okay. So let me give a back end story. So that was a, a particular year, things were really tough for us at home. Um, there was no money. It was very, we literally had to struggle throughout the year. There were times that, you know, we had to skip a meal or two just to like, you know, make things work. And then mm. Christmas day, no new clothes, no new shoes, no new nothing. And then after service, my father drives. So we were living at First Stack and church is at the Jesha. Okay. And so you could either turn at that Toyota side, if anyone knows Lagos properly, and turn back towards First Stack. So my father didn't do that. He drove all the way to the International Airport, drove up and said, this is the International Airport. Can you see the Nigerian Airways? That is why our planes are parked and blah, blah, blah. And he drove us right home and we went home and my mom made concussion rice and that was crazy. Concussion rice. Um, <laughs> no joke. Okay. No joke. But mm. guess what? What? We had fun because we had one another. Okay. We were together as a family. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. So Sapa hits people in two ways. The people that do not have family and the people that do have family. For the people that do not have family, mm. I really empathize with you. But one of the things that you can do is you can make this Christmas season fun for yourself. You do anything elaborate. You can eat the same meal you have been eating every day. Is it possible? Just celebrate the fact that you... Eh? Is it possible? Is it possible? Yes, it is possible. Because the truth is, the celebration of Christmas, although it's very monumental to the Christian faith, is two days out of the whole year. It's just like every other holiday that we take, you know, 
the ho- other holidays that are not of Christian faith. Christians go about their business. Mm. So if you're a Christian faith, you go to church that Christmas morning or you go to church the day before, just make sure that you enjoy yourself in your area. There will be now bangers that are no longer prohibited. There will be people throwing bangers. So enjoy the fireworks in your area. <laughs> enjoy saying Merry Christmas to the woman selling Shekwe at the beginning of your street or the woman <laughs> selling chinchi and sleep next to your house. You know, say Merry Christmas to the Aboki selling sugar cane and stuff like that. And just enjoy having the the benefit of people because that is what this holiday season is all about. It's all about celebrating people, celebrating ourselves and celebrating the birth of Jesus. And for those that have family but you don't have money, you have gold in your hands. Mm. So instead of you to focus on the things that you don't have, why don't we circle back and start by you giving thanks, giving for the things that you do have? Do you know how many people lost a lot of loved ones this year by accidents, illnesses, sicknesses, kidnapping, name it? People have gone through so much this year. But you look around you, your siblings are complete, their children are complete. Worry that your your rice does not have tin tomatoes? <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> Come on now. But, so in this sacred season, instead of you to focus on the negative, let us let us let us be more thankful. And yes, the government has made things very tough. The government has, has failed in so many ways that they said they were going to improve on. We haven't seen the change. Exactly. All we see is them wasting yeah. more money mm-hmm. on things that we feel are irrelevant to the economy. But hey. We elected them in the office. Some of us said no. A lot of people said yes. So we are all sapper in the sapper together. Um, but anyway, <laughs> what I'm going to say to everyone is, no matter the situation and the condition you find yourself, you will find a reason to laugh. There will be something to smile about. Even if it is looking up at the sky and you're waking up without a headache. Without some people are going to spend their Christmas day at the general hospital. Have you seen that place? It's a pathetic place, honestly speaking. The hospital. It's not something you want to wish on anyone. Yes, the general hospital is the supper hospital <laughs> for people that don't have plenty of money to go to a private hospital. Uh, so I mean, honestly speaking, we have to be thankful that. You can think with your mind, you will pick up the phone and call at the end of this conversation and give a piece of your mind. Some people don't even have minds, you know. So let's start with Thanksgiving. Number two, don't go beyond yourself because the truth is, we think that December is up, but January is a dry spell. And January is usually the Mm. longest month of the year. Believe me. Because that month just never seems to end. It's as though it goes on forever. Mm Mm-hmm. So you have to think about the fact that December, January 1 is just seven days after December 25. Hmm. Or eight days after December 25 or thereabouts. So so just look at it like, listen, life continues. Like the, like the years that we couldn't afford to do the things that we loved to do and my parents couldn't afford it, we had ourselves. We were thankful. I'm, I'm looking back. My father is not alive anymore. I'm looking around at my siblings and I have to send everyone a text. I'm like, listen, guys, I'm just looking forward to having everyone home for Christmas. I'm looking forward to having any, everyone in the house so that we can reminisce on our childhood and just hug on each other and love on each other. And I'm looking at you and my nieces and I'm just grateful to God that we are alive. Mm-hmm. Because honestly speaking, if you don't and you grumble you will discover that you're not you will give out a vibe that you're not happy and then the the environment keeps yeah. spinning on you spinning yeah. and then before you know it, you keep having bad experiences but you can change that honestly you can change that by start thinking thanksgiving thoughts and positive thoughts about yourself so today you don't have the life you want, but you have a life, right? Mm-hmm. Today you're staying in a one-room apartment. So people are living under the bridge. 
I was talking to a woman three weeks ago. The landlord came and put her, her things out of the house while, while her kids were in school. Wow. She said she doesn't know what she's going to do, where she's going to live. She doesn't even have the money to get an apartment. And here I was picking up the phone, trying to call one or two persons to see what I can do. At the end of the day, I had to hand her over to someone else because I personally couldn't help her, but I found someone that could. Maybe you could be that bridge to help someone this Christmas. And instead of focusing on yourself, try to think of someone else whose life you can change in the process. A mm. smile, a hundred naira, mm. a plate of rice. While you are cooking that concussion rice, add extra two cups. I know a Dirica is like portrait, but just add extra two cups. <laughs> and tell Mama Kechi, Mama Kechi, I have I have small rice. Do you want to do, do should I bring you one plate? You will be shocked that some people, it is a plate of food that people bring from their houses for them for Christmas is what they're going to eat that day. But, 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 uh, so, Lizzie, uh, I, I just, I just want to, I, I know you're already dishing out, you know, um, how, uh, this Christmas is going to go for the Sakbas, you know, but then what about people who do not have a dime? right now i saw someone I, i'm not going to tell you the person i saw someone drinking uh what is it called uh, uh cassava flakes if you know what cassava flakes is cassava flakes is gary <laughs> drinking gary <laughs> so i mean what about people who don't even have the money they don't even have the money right now like they don't have cash to well, buy i i, I would I would tell, yeah, so I would tell them that these things would also pass. You know, I remember one particular year, like I said, I didn't grow up like, so there was, there were some years that it was, was lean for the family. And so there was a particular year, it was, it was like more than lean. It was like lean, lean, lean. Mm. And guess what my mama did? I love that woman. She cut cocoa yam leaves, not the cocoa yam itself. Cocoa yam leaves, mm. and then she boiled it. She mm. boiled it. She boiled it, and she mixed it with some pepper and whatever, what whatever we had left in the house. And she made some vegetable with it, and we used it to eat the cocoa yam itself. And I got sick afterwards <laughs> because the leaf just wasn't leafing in my body, and I was really sick afterwards. But one of the times my mom was so worried that she was crying and i looked at her and i said i am grateful that i have you because if i don't have you i will starve so to the person that doesn't have a dime you're looking at a woman that did not have i've gone through plenty times when i didn't have a dime so i know how it feels like to look around and think that we don't have people there will be someone somewhere around that area that is doing a food drive okay some some church somewhere might be giving out free food on christmas day uh, don't be too proud to go and get yourself a plate yeah don't be too proud to go get yourself a pack of food somewhere just make sure that you get through that day or the days that are hard because it's not going to keep getting it's not going to be hard forever and i don't know what skills that person has or what they can do to be able to generate a bit of income but please do not try to do anything illegal because you will always regret it. Do not compare yourself with the rich because you don't know the, the things that they have to compromise on to keep being rich. Mm -hmm. So it's better for you to have peace of mind mm -hmm. than for you to try to get rich on. I mean, just don't do anything stupid. That's all I'm going to say. So also look out for jobs. Try to find yourself something to do to bring money. I understand that the value of the Naira has really... It's, let me tell you something, it's not as bad as some other countries. Zimbabwe, their money has zero value. They literally spend dollars. So we are really praying and hoping that the government does something that our, our currency doesn't devalue to the point where it is useless to us. Yeah. But pending when that happens, I'm just going to encourage that person that, that doesn't have a dime. You may not have a dime, but I believe strongly that you have someone that can give you something to tide over this Christmas. Yeah, and so. if you don't have anyone, then I am so sorry. <laughs> I really am. I really am particularly sorry. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, I mean, what I would say is try to see if you can get yourself to a food drive, onto a food bank, 
Um, I don't know. I have a few friends that went geo drives during this Christmas. I could pass the information across to um, Rahim, and then he maybe he can make an announcement, and people can go there to get something to eat for Christmas. And a lot of us support these causes. You know, we actually support them in the back end. So, mm. and I want to say this for everyone that do have something to eat. You have a lot going on in your house. You are able to cook for yourself and extras. Look for people outside. My father has this thing that he does. Every year, when we are cooking for the family, we cook for the people that are around the house, maybe like extra 50 people. That's a re lot of resources on the family, but we put it together. And then we just take the cooler to that place with the food. And when they are done eating, they return the cooler back home to us. So if you are... If you're well to do and you're able to do something this Christmas, just put a smile on people's faces. Look around in your neighborhood. If you live in a gated community, then look beyond your gated community and put a smile on someone's face this holiday. It's not everyone that has Sapa that is watching this right now. Some people actually have the means to help. They just don't know what to do. So I'm it's saying it exactly. to you. Look for someone else to help. And look for families in your church, in your mosque, in your in your neighborhood, in the market. Look for someone. If you don't know anyone, ask your driver, ask the cleaner, ask someone, a domestic person that I want to give out food at, at the holiday. They will have some people that they will send you to. So that's that's what I'm gonna say. All right. Uh I don't think I have any other question to ask you. You just said it everything and <laughs> And do me the favor, make sure you send me that information in case uh, I know a lot of people that need yes, that. I will. Okay, so I'm going to make that announcement on radio, and then whoever will be part of it definitely will have this. <laughs> I don't know what to ask you start. Thank you so very much. I, I, I need to open the phone lines now for people to call in. You've actually spoken well. Thank you. I appreciate you. And then there's so many other things, like some other days, we're going to be talking with her. She's, uh, she's my life coach. As a matter of fact, that's a time. I, I, was, I was telling people that there was a time I actually wanted to just do some self-destruct. And you talked to me. And all of a sudden, I, I was calm. And then you're good. You, you have that. You have that going on. You have that going on. So thank you so much. <laughs> thank you so much for that. Thank you. All right. Now, let me let you go so you can take care of it. I know you have a meeting, some international meeting online. So, I mean, I'm going to let you go and do it. Uh, I want to appreciate you one more time. Thanks a lot. You're welcome. Merry Christmas, everyone. Yes. Bye. Bye. So, um, for those who will be asking of her, I'll be giving her information later on the show. If you stick around with me. Okay. Thank you very and so much. All right. That's Ola BC right there. She's also a pastor. She is so, in so many things. I tell you, she's so many things. She's, she's some, a lot of people actually, some people actually have the power to talk and it works in people's life. Some, some don't have that power. So when you're gifted in that area to speak and young people, you know, listen and they do as you say in to the glory of god and you know to the glory of goodness at the end of the day uh, that's awesome so i mean shout out to her i know um uh i will definitely get her social account in detail so i could put it up there if in case you want to follow her up and know exactly what's going on in her life she she's a great woman and she's a superwoman the doors are open i want to see exactly who's calling me right now hello what is your name and where you're coming from? Yeah, yeah. Uh, this is uh, Pascal. I'm calling from uh, Mafuluku. And uh, I would like uh, Pastor Oladisi to pray for me and support me, put me, make me smile in this uh, Christmas mm. because I don't have anything to 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 use and be happy with my family for this real? Christmas. Mm, okay. So I would like 
This okay. my contact. This my contact. No, hold on. And, uh, we're not. We're, hold on, my... Pascal from Mavuluku. Calm down. Now you guys are just too fast. <laughs> See, I'm going to give an information when she sends it. So you go there and get it done. Okay. All right. Uh, uh-huh. Okay, uh, but sir, but sir mm. uh, I am visually impaired. I am a blind man, though. Uh-huh. Okay. So, uh, uh, but you have ears. You can hear, fine. right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. So since you have ears, you can hear. Um, and um, I'm going to give the information. When you hear it, just keep listening. If she sent it, I'll give it. And then this Christmas, okay. definitely you're going to get something, possibly something I'll that you can smiling. hold on to. Thank you, sir. Thank okay. you, sir. Okay, so that's that. All right, so just keep listening. We will have that on. But for right now, we want to talk about what we have already. Before we start having the interview, before I start having the interview with Pastor BC, uh, what is your take? How do you want to manage this Christmas? How do you see this Christmas? What's your experience? Is there, is there anything you want to talk about? Is he holding you or you you know you don't have issues? Hello. Hello. What's your name? Yeah. This is Emmanuel Willie calling from Nigeria. Okay. Go ahead. Yeah. We talk about Papa. Papa. That is uh, uh, hunger. So what I want to see here is this. You see, in the sense of Christmas. And I also say that the government has a lot to play in Christmas celebration. Because I can remember I was born in Liberia and I grew up in Liberia. In Liberia? Yeah, I was born in Liberia and I grew up in Liberia. My father is a Nigerian. My mother is a Liberian. I grew up there, I married my wife and I come in this country. I see how the people celebrate Christmas there. They set the platform in a way that all companies, all businesses, whenever it comes to Christmas time like this, if they are selling anything in the market like $100, once it comes to November, those businesses, they will bring things price down. For example, in theaters, anything that people use, food, for example, you will buy something that plasma is what they say in the market like five hundred dollars. You will, they will bring the price down to two hundred and fifty dollars. They say it's auction price, it's number period. That is the time people bring things down. I think even in the marketing on that in other side, you see, this is the time that people save money to buy room materials, buy clothes for themselves. Then when I came in Nigeria, I get to know in Nigeria there are no platform like that for people. Mm. In, in Nigeria is what I see. In December time is where things price even increase. I remember December last year, me and my wife were in the market to go and buy common and how they call it this cow, cow intestine. Look at the price of the cost. Fifteen thousand for cow intestine. How will a common man eat if you go and call this type of price? Is where you see they say chicken, 20,000, 30,000. How will a common man have food? But on that side, you have chicken carton, which they say makes $100. They will bring the price down. It's not that the government forces it on them, no. It's the tradition on that side. Every December, this price comes down. They say auction time, auction time. And another way again, as that my sister said something, she said, how can a common man make it? You ask something like that also. On that side, when it comes to December, someone who cannot, who cannot afford for the children, you need to buy clothes for the children. They use this time also to go to the market house, collect clothes from the, from the store, who are actually, they will give them the price like, okay, this clothes we are selling the five dollars. Go around, sell this clothes, $57.77. Out of that $2 that the person will have, they will use them to buy something for the children, buying food for themselves. This is how the people set their, 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 their foundation on that side. Then in Nigeria, I don't see anything like that. I don't see it. Mm-hmm. Now, things are going up. Who in the market now, you hear Jerica um, uh, of life, uh, 500, 500. Now, from, from now to the 25th now, how it will be. No 
platform for the people. How do they survive? And you see, we talk about GSM company on that side too. We have uh, two popular GSM company. We have an uh, ETL. No, sorry, I forget the name. Sir. We have ATM. Now, before it was long star, when it came from a partner, they make it long star. When the Zona come like this, they will send everybody messages. Recharge. And once you recharge like um, one dollar, they will activate that one dollar to seven days free call. You can call any GST company in the country for seven days. There is another way to do things for people to connect with their family. Transportation comes down. But in our country, yeah, we don't see anything like that. Look at now. In the East now, the price has gone up. People do not even have money to even go and visit their parents at home. They want to go and celebrate Christmas in the village. Nothing. I have many people who say, I did this, and I'm not going anywhere. I don't even have money to do this. You see the kind of thing. No platform. I hope you understand what I'm saying. I do. Yeah. <laughs> I think that the government has a lot to play instead of the government. The way we set the foundation, that is what makes things are very difficult. I remember when I went in the market to buy buy something. One woman told me that if it's December time, it's time to keep your money. No, it's not like that. People just put price together. It's just a hard thing to have. Uh-huh. Uh, that's what she said. Uh, as well. Thank you so much for calling in. I appreciate it. Okay. All right. Uh, Sankma December. How did you do? What and how do you want to roll in this December when you know you are not having cash? Do you have any experience? How far for your side? Sakma? did he catch you? How do you want to manage it? How do you want to maximize this, Sakma? How do you want to, you know, you want to, you want to share so somebody else can learn from it? Hello. What's your name? Hello? Oh, Akuchinere, the night princess. Hmm. How are you, sir? Good. Bless God. Greetings to everyone in the house. Okay. okay. Greetings to you, Kirk. Okay. Yeah. So I I like all she said. But in the area I will start with is the I don't know how she know that I want to start with it. Immediately I called in today's program I want to start with a testimony. Yes, I don't know. Because you? something happened to me today. Got me control. <laughs> I I went out and all all the time that I spent to the place I did not have any injury. But for me getting to the gate of the place I was going to, I missed it. I missed because the the woman that was with me was uh, uh, she focused on the car coming out from the street so that the car will not hit us. So along the line, I missed my step and fell into the gutter. And then I have bruises on my legs. But I thank God nothing happened to me. I really thank God. And uh, I also thank God that that did not stop my, my mission for today. I thank God as I, I went there with tears and I, I come out with joy. Yes. It has a long I shared tears, but the tears that I shared today, <laughs> I did not believe it. But thank God for that. Thank, thank God. God. If that one didn't happen, and I don't know what could have happened. Mm. I really thank God for, for the same journey. Um, thank God for it. I want to... I want to say something. I want to share something concerning what she said. Um, I think uh, we should we should believe that as far as there is life, there is nothing we cannot achieve in life. Yes, as far as there is life, as far as, far as we breathe, and we know quite right that humans are not the one giving life. It's only God. Yes. Yeah. Beans. So 
to work in your life. Hello, Akuchina. Are you still there? Hello? Hello, can you hear me? Sir? I can hear you now. Go ahead, please. All right. So, he can only use somebody to uh, work in life if he decided to direct someone. And another thing there is if only you can believe. No matter your past, no matter how people look down on you, no matter the bad energy you have been experiencing in life, as far as you believe, there is nothing he can, he can never do for you. So I think life first. We should, we should learn how to praise him, worship him. Even though since you are expecting, you, have, you haven't you haven't get it. As in, you haven't even experienced it. You have to thank him. Yes, you really have to thank him for the ones you have already and the ones he about to do. Because we all know that he said in his word that the thought that he has for us is thought of good, not for evil. So there is no bad energy can bring his uh, his mind down in our life. Yes, we have to believe in ourselves and add more value to ourselves. Yes. We have to add more value to ourselves. Love people. Love people. Sometimes we need to forget about ourselves and think for others. Yes, we need to forget about ourselves and think for others so that He can make a way for us. In a way that <laughs> when the miracle started working, it looked like a faith is a magic. Yes. By the this is this is what I can say for now, okay? Okay. This is what I can say for now. I really thank God for this topic today. And I thank God I, I came back safely. Thank God. Thank God for your life, Akuchina. Thank you for calling in. Uh, I've got calls coming in. Let me check on what's going on on WhatsApp. And then if you want to call on whatsapp please do 0700-903-9039 that's whatsapp line and if you want to reach me direct you can call the number 0700-903-903-903 hello hello, hello mr ryan okay ryan yeah you're the one calling yes Chidera, how was your birthday Happy birthday to you again. It was um, very, very good, fine. Yes, so much butterfly in my belly because yeah, uh, it was it's like um, it's the best um, birthday so far. Yes. Oh, in this Sakba season? <laughs> yes. In, in this Sakba yes, so, season, uh, it's the best. Oh, as in a, my um, God. <laughs> I wasn't expecting it though, um, uh, especially from uh, um, uh, my VOP people. <laughs> they surprised me. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Starting from Akuchinere. Uh, yes, she tried. From my mama, uh, Mrs. Blessing from uh, Bangro. In short, every one of them, they tried and to. Uzo, oh my goodness. <laughs> Uzo, Uzo did wonders. <laughs> I was in. That's so much joy, so much joy. I can't, I can't even mention it. I can't even, you know, say how I'm feeling. <laughs> Thank God for your life. Yes, 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 yes. <sighs> Thank you for asking. Hope you are good. How was your day? Day was good. It was great. Thank you so much for asking. Okay. 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 Oh, friend, did you beat you today, right? What? Oh, rain did not fall for your side. No, uh, I didn't see any rain. Oh, okay. Oh. It didn't fall on my side. You rained the, you rained the side today. Oh. Which side is that? I go, I go palace, I go. Oh, okay. That's a that's a blessing. Uh. Anything that rain and I go yeah, is so a blessing. Is is a Zion blessing. That's a Zion blessing. 
It's not Zion people that no want problem. What of our BB now? Why are you always asking me, BB? Am I BB's keeper? <laughs> 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 Why you ask? Why you ask me, BB? You, you, BB. You have to know now. BB is okay. I told you guys, BB took vacation. Okay, I'm the one here. Okay. And so oh, allow okay, her to okay. rest. You allow BB to oh. rest. Oh, okay, okay, okay. You know, eh, we have to ask Ofa now. Eh, you know, she's our our own person now. <laughs> Okay. So you, you should be answering the question every every time you ask me of BB now. Yeah, right? I already told you yes. BB is a vacation. So okay, um, okay, 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 okay. Let's okay. leave no that problem. rest. Yeah. That's good. That's good. That's good. Okay, I'm greeting everybody. Uh, our handsome and beautiful listeners here, home here, and uh, outside the country. I'm saying good evening to every one of them. Yes. Okay, back to what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. What I have to say in the what you're saying this night is um just cut your product according to your size. Uh, you understand? No no do pass you. Huh? No do pass your no do pass yourself. Okay. Uh -huh. So okay. Just cut your coat according to your size. Keep your hand where your hands reach, not hanging your hand where you know you don't have this thing. As in, maybe you, you want to show up. I don't know. Just, I don't have much to any, say. All I have any, to say is just cut your coat. Yeah? Anybody that wants to show up at this Sakpa time, this Sakpa season, hmm? it means that the person mostly, has money. Mostly people do that too. When they don't have money? Ah, yes, so it ah. That one no be when, say, when say, they don't have anything ah. to eat. How can ah. someone behave that way? <laughs> yeah? Why would somebody behave like that when he doesn't have anything? Ah, there's so many of them. Oh, there's so many of them. That one, that one self is not. It's not even anything to themselves. Ah. Mm. Forget Jerry. So what I'm saying is that everybody should just just hang your uh, cut your code according according to your size. And you know, hang your hand where your hand, uh, your hand reach. Uh -huh. That day, you send a soup you cook for us. <laughs> have, be happy and thank, the, uh, and thank God for life and everything. It's not a more that you must eat rice. If it's gari that you have, eat your uh, eat your gari with happiness. Uh -huh. Not that your neighbor is eating rice and you have gari. You're looking for a way to eat. No. It's not just anything that you have at home that day. Fine and good. All oh, that matters is just. Yeah, you just give thanks to the Lord. Yeah, life. And so many things, this year, so many things have happened. I am still privileged to be alive. So I don't see reason why you should, you know, be yourself much. Or hang your hand where your hand is in the reach. No. Just be happy. Uh-huh. Even if it's scary or beans that you have that day. Cook it with joy. Balance. Ah, download it with water. If you download it, finish with sleep. Uh -huh. So no much, uh, no much struggle. We just thank the Lord for the gift of life. Because so many things have happened this year. Which one will you cut and leave which one? So you know, all things we should give thanks to the Lord. When the thing, when you have the thing, you can eat as much as you have. Okay. So that is it. That is the only thing I have to say there. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much, Shida, for calling. I appreciate. It. Yes. Hello. Yeah, good evening, sir. Good evening to you. What's your name? My name is Pascal. Pascal. Calling from Mafuluku. This is the yeah. second time you're yes. calling. Uh, yes. Uh, yes. Uh, I plan to spend my Christmas with my children and a family man. Uh, but I lost my sight. I am a blind man. But I would like to be happy with my children on that Christmas day. And, uh, and, uh, unfortunately, I don't have anything to eat with my children. But okay. Uh, Pascal, I've already told you that, you see, some of you take advantage. <laughs> why you, why you guys behave this way? Even if I know that you are in handicap, I've already said it that. I'm going to mention, okay, some information we'll be giving 
uh, from what I've been and also other people who wants to help can go through us here and uh, help people. But we are talking about Sakba December. Let's have a talk now. Why are you guys just calling and talking about your problems? I also have a problem. Who's going to do my? <laughs> okay. Pascal, I've heard you. Okay. If you're listening, just hold on. Okay. Uh -huh. We will all enjoy. We're talking about how to manage Sakba December. And if anybody wants to help, anybody wants to go through us to be a blessing to anyone, it will come. And you will take too much advantage of the opportunity we're giving. And then, you know, just slow your roll, okay? And uh, listen, contribute to the show. All right? Hello? Hi, good evening, sir. Good evening to you. Who am I speaking Our with? Our night prince. Okay, night prince. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is blessing. Oh, how are you, sir? Blessing. Sorry. Yes. Bless. Uh, today you decided to do a direct line. Okay, blessing. Yeah. Uh, how are you, sir? I'm okay. I'm good. Thank God. Sakma, Sakma yeah, is good. everywhere. Sakma is even catching me too. And then you know we we <laughs> here. <laughs> mm. <laughs> It's so, fine, so, you so, know. We are always positive, you know, right? I, I know. So, how you how you managing Sakba this December? How you want to manage your Sakba this December? How you doing? My dear. Well, first of all, as long as I live, there is hope, you know, right? Mm hmm. Uh mm huh. -hmm. We see. I always believe in positive, you know. Eh. Uh, it doesn't matter if you have. What matters most is that you are alive. Yeah. You see that day. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Just go out there, praise your God, come back, cheer, you know? Even if you have just anything at all. I don't want to mention in anything, whatever you have, just do with it. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Then, if you what, still what? have some to give people, Okay. You go, want to say something? Go, go ahead. Go ahead. I will say it. Okay. If you still have to give people, that's good. Just give it up. Even that small one you have. My dear, you know today, something happened today. It's not that I have, but I believe I have. Do you know that I put a smile in someone's face today? Hmm. I'm telling you the truth. He was very happy. The person in question has nothing. From the little one I have, I tried to help out. And, and he was very happy. It doesn't matter if you have millions, you understand? That little one you have, help someone out with it. Honestly, I started my already. I started last week. Mm. Little by little. To understand mm. anyone I can get, I give it out. That is me. I won't wait until the thing is like full. But you know, this bag can never full. So, mm. the one you have, you just give it out. At least I've put a smile in three people's face where between last week and this week. And I still believe that if I have, I will do more. I don't even want anybody to give me. I want to give out. I don't know if you understand. Yeah, I do. Yes, that is the spirit. You know, our people said, you that is giving, your hand is always at the top. Why the person receiving? His or her hand will be at the bottom. So that is it. So I, I believe positivity. I believe in positivity. So then, okay, this... Um, that our lady, she makes a lot of sense. See, <laughs> this era, you know, so it is it, it is a new era. Mm. You understand entirely. So so many changes. We have to adapt to the changes. 
she understands, but we still believe things will be best, not even better now. It's going to be best for all of us. But, but as it is now, let's just take it gradually. Do you understand? Let's just take it gradually. And I want to say this to everyone out there. Just be okay with what you have. Be contented. Be satisfied. You know? You mustn't wear the whole jewelry on this world. You mustn't wear this. You mustn't wear that. Just be okay for yourself. Take it big. I mean, I mean, take a deep breath. Come out fine. Praise your God, you know. Be happy with people. Play around your friends and well wishers. You know, be happy. You know, there is a sorrow in the night, but joy comes in the morning. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Your life is more important. As long as you live, you're going to make it. So you want to say something you want to say? I don't want to say anything, Blessing. I mean, you've already said everything you you would pr probably want people to listen to and, they, uh, you know, do accordingly. Because, you know, the reason why we're actually putting up the show today, I put up the show today is because I have seen a lot of Sakba in town. Yes, people are going through yeah. a lot. Yes, people are going through. But how do, you, how do you get yeah. a manage? So this little thing that you say now, people should... Like um, the the person I called before you, Akuchire, uh, Chidera, you're all talking about everybody should just be thankful for the little they have and, you know, not to yeah. put their hands into a place where they're not supposed to manage the little that they have. And, of course, I mean, uh, that, that's it. And that, that's why. And, and see, yeah. see, from that little, try to give up. I'm telling you, that is just what it means to do. I would like to you. From that little you have, just try to give it up. Try. Even, you know, I went somewhere here on Saturday. Mm. There is particular amount I want to give up that Saturday. <laughs> but I didn't have it. You know what I did? When they were playing music, I went there and danced. Do you know that they spread me money and that money was completed? You know, do some certain things. Make things happen. Do you understand? If you determine that this thing is what you want, my dear, go for it. No, not the other way around. As a not illegal process, you understand? Mm. Just be straight. Yes, be straight. I said to myself, see, this very person is so precious to me, and I want to give her this thing. But I don't have the complete of what I want to do. But at that place, I got it. And I gave it to her. And I was happy. I was satisfied. I was okay. Because I did what I wanted to do. Do you understand? Mm. So that is it. That's why I said, you, you know, you mustn't have it all in order for you to give. That is so warm. That is so warm. My dear, you can squeeze out from that little. Just give it. Yeah, exactly. And wait, wait, wait for what will happen. Okay. So I'm mm. done for now. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much, Blessing. We'll talk about our ordeal later. Thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bye. So I'm actually looking for someone who's going to give me a hand press. Uh, who's going to be the one to do that for me? Because huh? I'm looking forward to be able to see that people are better. This December, you heard from Pastor BC, uh, who is a life coach, an influencer, and she's in a whole lot of stuff. She's in our armor. And she said, look, this December, there's definitely going to be a place where some people can come and get some stuff. And then I'm going to get their announcement either today or anytime that is ready. Okay. All right. So, I mean, how are you coping? How are you doing? Sakma. This December is crazy. And for those who are asking questions, what is the meaning of this Sakba you're talking about? I'll break it down again. It's a term used in Nigerian Pidgin English 
to describe a state where one is being extremely broke or poor, uh, usually after possibly overspending. Many Nigerians actually use the term to describe a cruise, but many do not understand it. The word has been the most used in the social media recently with some singing about it. We have a song on it. Sapa word is a type of slang used to describe, you know, broke, poverty, things that you can't get. You know, it is often seen as disrespectful, but yeah, we're not causing any harm. <laughs> it's seen as disrespectful or trivializing and, and can actually cause harm by perpetuating negative stereotypes and stigmas. But there are many different ways that Sakba can be used in conventional or possibly in um, conversation or, or writing. Okay. But literally, for those who are looking forward to know what exactly Sakba it mean is, you know, Sakba is when, when the economy is, is, is affecting your pocket. Literally. I'm just trying to break it down so you understand more of it. When the economy is really affecting your pocket and, um, and there's, you know, is really hard. Uh, and, you know, you're looking for it for a way out. And that's why I'm saying for some people, it's not difficult. They have a lot right now with them. I'm very sure what BC or LBC said is the truth. A lot of people have so much that they don't even know what to do with it. I personally, the little I have, sometimes I find it very difficult to 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 use it i had to look for someone who who have less to give it to and that's exactly what blessing is saying you just possibly need to have a little to give to other people and you know share because christmas christmas is about sharing christmas once again as usual is a time you know to celebrate and is a global holiday mark the birth of christ in of course in the world nigeria and uh, even those who don't believe in christ they also celebrate christmas unknowingly so the yellow tie season is associated with a hike in the cost of goods and the services and you know how it is normally even when the sakba is not like that when we have, you know, when the days were better, when the years were better, every Christmas things used to get higher. The price and the cost of goods and services used to get higher. More than just a holiday, Christmas is a time for families to reunite, which means expensive flight tickets. Travel out for a vacation, go see your loved ones, Go to places, stop giving him waka and be yourself <laughs> and stop accusing someone who is not his fault. That's what we're saying. <laughs> so, so at the end of the day, Christmas is about sharing. So for those of you who have a lot, just look for someone in your street according to what the interview I had with um, Olabisi, Pastor Bisi, that you should look for someone around that you can help. Some people don't have. Just look around, help. If you want to go through, that's no problem. I know this radio station, actually, for so many people, is like, this is a charity organization. This is not a charity organization. You people should call and participate on the program on what is at the table. And not to be calling and telling me about your father died and this, that, that, you're hungry. Dude, we're trying to help. So um, people are actually working here. I'm also trying to make sure their life are easier with you. So you must listen and follow instructions. Okay. So, I mean, you want to call in, you let us know exactly what you think about this season. How are you managing? How are you coping? What is your take on this Sakma December? People are not going to travel. People are not going to travel because of money. People are maximizing the, the little that they have. 
we're trying to make it better bigger and try to look make it look good for their for their families it's difficult for a lot of people to even bring and talk, talking about bringing money out to you know there's some houses you go visit they will not even give you a transport back home these are family members it's that really hard so we're asking ever since the apc led government came into government it's been it's been one problem now this present government just a little announcement a hike of everything went up dollar phew, became super on the naira and everything has been on very expensive it is hard for people to survive i know what i'm talking about because i've actually seen a lot on my own personal street i must i must i must i must i must give i must the tax is too much so we are saying what exactly how are you managing how are you coping what is it like Sakba December, how to manage Sakba December caused by the present government? The number is 0700 903 903 903. And if you want to do me on WhatsApp, if you want to do me good on WhatsApp, call on WhatsApp, send your voice notes, and also um, you can um, send a message on WhatsApp on the number, WhatsApp number 0700 903. 9039 okay so why is it difficult why is it difficult and so difficult for some people to survive is because sakma has actually affected even jobs some organizations at the time had to lay off a lot of people to manage the little they have so i mean for you to start talking about working is even hard it's even so hard you it's difficult for you to get some but for those who say they don't have anything doing and there is no job you just keep trying until you get one if you hope on god and you keep trying you definitely will get one all right so we are asking a question how are you managing in this december what is your plan somebody definitely will want to take your plan uh how are you managing the december what's going on with you how what is your experience are you traveling or you're not going to travel are you going to be home how do you want to spend your time with your kids how do you want to do it with a little you have that's the question i'm asking right now hello Hello? Okay. Call back. 0700-903-903-903 is the number. In, in the WhatsApp line is 0700-903-9039. Call and tell me. I want to hear from you. What are you, what, is, what are you up to? What's your plan this December? And for those who Sakba is not really... I know Sakba has actually catch up with a lot of people, even the rich, but there's some people that have. And please, giving is the system of Christmas. So if you also have to give, people are already calling, said they don't have. They want to spend time from the guy like Pasca, from the guy who called from Mafalo Kusei, he's looking for how he's going to spend time with this kid so he doesn't have any. Hello. 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 Okay. I'm finding it difficult to hear you. Hello. What's your name? Okay. Uh, network. I don't know what's going on. Maybe the weather, but uh, uh, I'm losing a lot of calls. All right. So if you try and it's not going through, possibly... You can try to call on WhatsApp, 0700-903-9039. That's it. So, Christmas is associated with food. 
And of course, a lot of it. A lot of it. The custom of exchanging food. That's the custom. Exchanging food with neighbors is one of the most looked forward during this period. So you can as well exchange food to people that don't have. You can go to a place where you know that you're better than and help. I'm having problem with the lines, but it's okay. Hello? Okay. All right. If you have a budget, normally some people have big budget for Christmas. You can cut it down. You can cut it down. You could take it easy on yourself. Cut it down and make sure the people around you enjoy it with you. However, there is a snag. Sakba seizing in Nigeria and some say the world over is not just this country but it's happening all over the world. Sakba, as I said, is a Nigerian slang for those who are still asking the question what do you mean? It's used to connote a state of being broke or poor. Things are very, very, <laughs> very good in the pocket and people are suffering. Okay, so I just want you to tell me how you manage it. I'll tell you exactly how I'm doing it. Some people actually talked about my plans. Malabisi well, also talked about my plans. She's already given the picture of how I'm going to do my stuff. And then she uh, didn't say it. Akuchinere said it. Blessing said it. Those people have said it all. So I'm going to take my time to make sure that I do exactly as they say. Hello. Hello. Good evening. Good evening to you. What's your name, please? I'm, I'm Sidon, coming from Washington. You say your name is what? I'm Sidon, calling from Washington. Okay. Although I didn't get that. So go ahead. So are you manage, are you manage this Sakwa December? What, what is your experience? Oh, okay. All right. Uh, network, maybe. So we're asking a question. I'm going to keep asking a question. How are you managing Sakba this December? Are you traveling? No. Are you going to cut your budget? What exactly is your experience? How do you want to manage this Sakba December? How do you want to go about it? How do you want to go about it? Yes, it affected a lot of people. How do you want to do it? Do you have any idea? How do you want to do it? Hello. 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 Good evening to yeah, you. Good evening. Yeah. Good evening. All right. I'm listening. Go ahead. Hi, Sharon. I prefer to travel for this year, but my travel cannot, cannot move again. I apologize to you. You said that I need to do my family to send them through, through banks. Okay. So I prefer to travel. I travel not to move now. It's 20,000 naira. To where exactly? From here to my village. Oh. So you must say. Emo, okay. Wow. So you must say, for people say, so you must say, it's 25,000 naira. Wow. And so I forget to, I forget to tell my mom that I will send 30,000 naira for them. Because if I, if I send 20,000 naira to go, 20,000 naira to come back, I will not be all the expensive to see my friends and people that I've already left for long. So I'm going to spend up to hundred and something thousand man wow. before I will come back. So if I travel and come back, 
Guys, they say I'm going to start afresh in Lagos State. So, well, I cannot be able to travel it because even not before, when I'm doing 7,000 miles, hmm. it is your care for me. Like last year, it's your care for me. I travel, but this year now, I can't do it. What I'm feeling, I will get out the money and send my credit with a few minutes. And it's very relevant that I can manage it. Hmm. Well, your idea is very nice. I mean, some people will want to force themselves and, and to travel, even with the later they have. But you, 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 you I mean, your idea is nice. I, I just hope that people will copy your idea. Uh, I don't want to copy. Let me copy. But for me, that is not what is so care for me. Yes. Because if I went to the and I go, where's the money? If I send to the to my mother, she will have it. Exactly. And the money is not a travel. Exactly. Mm. So if I waste money for the transport, you don't pay me and you don't pay my mother. Yeah. So if I waste eighty thousand naira to go and come back, how much will I get to my to my to my mother? That's that's nice. Wow. So uh, I'm very happy to relax. Uh, I like that. Thank thank you so much for calling in. I appreciate that. I appreciate. It. So, I mean, people definitely will want to copy your style because, I mean, it's good. I mean, don't force yourself. Uh, we've been talking about it, that it's, it's not going to be good. When you know the transportation is a cut to your coat according to your size, do not overdo. Send the money instead to your people out there instead of traveling with that kind of money when you know your budget is too small. Hello. Okay. So I am saying that you need to understand that the budget is something that I'm going to talk about that budget thing. So I just want to hear from people. Hello. 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 Uh, uh, talk. Who's up? You're welcome. Hey, hey, how how hey, your week? Hey, my week was okay. It was uh, Thank God. Thank God. Yes, sir. You know, you know what? I greet my our fans from BOP. Chideva, Akuchini Rota, John Legend, and Blessing from Mangru. <laughs> okay. And the other one who come from the Asena Blue Heaven, I'll be waiting. <laughs> you never, you never so mentioned Chidera, your baby. baby. I said I greet all of them today. Okay. <laughs> and the rest of them are continue the water, mm -hmm. a blessing. Okay. And then even Monday. Monday will never hear from God as well. Okay. Yes, surprise. And uh, all the VOP staffs I greet you now on a happy Christmas in advance. So, mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Wait so my um, subsidy this year, 2023. <laughs> <laughs> Me too, I don't do subsidy. Which, which subsidy are you talking about? We're talking about Sakura. Uh, yes, uh, uh, I Subsidy and the... Uh, Tell me, I how yeah, yeah, I'm there I'm with you. Okay, tell me, yeah. how, how far? My subsidy <laughs> goes this way, uh, uh, as it is now. You know, I want to tell myself, good thing not to finish. So I'm blessing myself concerning how the situation of this subsidy is taking place. So Christmas come and go. I uh, just use media to say, Nigerian who are forcing themselves, they must travel, they must do this, they must do that, they should calm down. But in their heart, it will cool. You know, they are going to get joy. My son says, no one should die before his or her time. Because good thing never finish. So, what thing they do today, they will do it tomorrow in a bigger way. <laughs> the drive boat. Oh, Uzor, I lost the call. Uzor, please do call back. Okay. Uh, I want to hear from you. Okay. Hello. 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 What's your name? Hello. Good evening. Good evening to you. What's your name, please? Hello. What is your name? Where are you calling from? Okay. My name is Fortune. 
I'm calling from Majangad. Okay, so go ahead. Okay, I called to report something. That's why I'm calling. Report? What, what do you want to report? Hello? Okay, uh, we're talking about Sakba in this December. That's what we're talking about. So if you're calling me, make sure it has to be what we are talking about. Sakba this December, how are you managing? How have you planned to maximize this your festive season? That's what I want to hear from you. Hello. Oh, you're funny. You know, it did, it did not allow this. The person I want to report to, no, it's not that it's traffic report that she wants to report. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's her age. I, it, uh -huh. well, she wants to report traffic, you know, traffic or Allah. No, well, <laughs> traffic, no, well, the traffic, Um, I don't know. I'm not asking for traffic report. I'm sorry. You asked a question there. Yes. Um, you asked a question, so okay. that's why I call in. Go ahead, please. Oh, um, my way of of my preparation concerning this Xmas, Christmas. Though I believe that we have uh, a very million of Christmas to celebrate. Yes, we have. If we have many, many Christmas to celebrate. Yes. Uh, First of all, I start with my with my baby girl. Yeah, I start with my baby girl. My very a very good daughter to me. I washed all my clothes day before yesterday. Then I fold them and uh, I will call her tomorrow for her to come and pick it. I don't even know how I can get another one, but I have my belief that I can get another one. So I start with her first because her mother is very, very good to me with her also. They are very, very good to me. Yeah, I, even though I'm knocked out from the compound I find myself, they still have my time. They still call me. They still, it was her mother that took me out today. So she's very wonderful to me. So that is the first place I will start. So any other way, God will take control. Uh -huh. God will take control, yes. God has started the journey away. He will never let me down. Yes, he will never let me down at all. So even though even though I eat chicken this Christmas, no problem. Or if I did not eat, no problem. <laughs> if you don't eat, no problem. Oh, did not come over. Uh, if I did not eat, if I did not eat, no problem. If I eat, the glory be to God. <laughs> Uh -huh. But I believe that the thoughts you have for me is thought of good, not for evil. Yes, I know. I I know that everything is turning around for my good. I can never be put to shame. Never. <laughs> so, that is right now. <laughs> hmm. Wow. <laughs> Sixteen minutes gone past the hour of eleven o'clock, and we are actually on a nighttime show. This is a nighttime show with Ryan Terrence, and we are talking about Sakba. How are you going to cope this December? Uh, and for those who don't understand exactly what Sakba means, Sakba means broke, and um, it means when you can afford anything. It means when you are—I uh, don't want you to use the word poor—when you don't have. This December, 
when the economy is actually showing and reflecting in your pocket, what are you going to do? What is your plan? Do you have a budget? Do you, are you planning to travel? Are you planning to, to do what you used to do um, last time? What exactly are you doing? How have you been coping in December? That's the question we're asking on the show. 0700-903-903-903. And for WhatsApp line, in case you want to reach me on WhatsApp, you can do that on 0700-903-9039. Now, talking about budget. To set a budget and to stick to it is one thing I would like some people to do before carrying out any expenditure during this period of Sakma. Ensure that you have a budget. Having a budget aids you with streamlining your spending and, of course, eliminating unnecessary items so that you will not spend too much. Let me take this call. Hello. Hello. Good evening. Good evening to you. V Prince, right? Yeah, I got V Prince. Okay. B Prince, Sakma yeah. is in the house, is in the building, is everywhere. How are you coping? And what is your plan to manage Sakma this season? Actually, this season, I don't used to travel due to the nature of my job. Okay. Actually. Ah. But what baffles me so much is that the appeal callings on my mobile phone is too much. Hmm. It's too much to the extent that I don't really know how to dodge the calls. Hmm. Even when I share some certain things, the people I did it didn't reach to will now turn against me. And there is no amount of S that you can give to them that is enough. Hmm. Even some certain things have been, there is a community initiative that I've been doing in my community concerning the youth this December, whether I'm there or not. Those things are lying on my shoulder. Whether I'm there or not, expenses must go ahead hmm. because I have vowed to do that to my community. So, but what baffles me so much that we are crying in this nation is that if the government can look down to put some certain things and not to plan ahead the nation, but to plan ahead the generation to come, what they will benefit. Instance number one, if I thought that the railway that they built from Nigeria to Niger, they built it from Lagos down to East. <laughs> It will be of a good benefit to the masses. Today, that way is not giving us any benefit. As I'm talking to you now. But, but you said it's from Ninja to Niger, right? Yeah. Yeah, so definitely from Ninja, which part of Nigeria? They definitely will be having their courts. Ninja will be having their courts too. <laughs> actually, actually, when you look at it, you know now that even if there are some certain commercial centers in the east that will be conveying something like food mm, to mm. this center of excellency mm. it will be of a very good economical help to this center of excellency mm. now may looking at it now if you want to travel to east if it is not through flight it is through land and also we have waterways. Our waterways are not build, being built in a way that it will help those people that may go even through the waterways. And that's the reason why we are crying to government to see the future and not now. To see the future and not the next election. To see the future of the youth and not the future of the next politicians. If there is a trend now, for instance, from Oibo. You see that the cost effective will be very, very low compared with, even if as the road now is not good, people will like to go by railway. But those things now are not there for the Easterners. And when you look at it, they may be judging as in that the game is marginalized. It's affecting people so much and the way you want to enter the... I was listening to the other lady now, he said it's 20,000. It's not 20,000, no. To Imo. 
I am telling you no, the truth. No, I think it depends on the on the transportation that she's taking. Maybe it's the lowest. No. I know the lowest because I know the transportation. If I want to go by road, transportation take to to that place is almost forty something thousand, if not not forty something k. You know, but Actually, it depends that is on the bus stop. Uh -huh. and, uh, the expenses, the thing that we take you down to your rural area or the community. That is the uh, that is the the capital expenses you are going to make. The trip from here to Lagos is not the one that is going to take you down to your locality. Mm. So when you look at it, coupled with the high you are going to do on the Christmas day, people that heard that you came in, people that you have missed for so long, you can't be hiding. No matter how it is, you must share one thing or the other. I'm not looking at it. The economy of the nation is not even helping us at all. As I'm standing with you here now, this night I can't sleep because the leaf is on the ground. The program, the community initiative I have is on ground. I don't really know what to do, actually. In fact, I don't know. I don't know. It's only the heaven that will help us because we know that our economy is not depending on 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 on, on our budget. It's on uh, a heavenly economy. Honestly, our government must do something to see this thing I am pinpointing. It's just merely that they ran the second third, uh, second uh, uh, Niger Bridge mm. to convert the the the, 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 the to decongest the populace on the, the other major this in high bridge but it's not all that sufficient enough when you talk about flight now you are going to spend no less than 250,000 naira just to land at the airport then you take a, a, a kabu kabu down to where you are going my dear you see that it's very very expensive we are calling on the federal government if those things are being put in place, it will help us to 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 to, to see about uh, food security and so on and so forth. At least from Benin to Lagos here, yeah, the food will be entering through the transit. At least from uh, Delta, Anambra, Imo State, uh, Enugu, and so on and so forth. It's not only the Northerners that used to farm. Easterners used to farm, middle belt used to farm. But the means of getting those things down to the center of excellency and across become so expensive because the, 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 the means of transportation, only the land road, is, is highly... In fact, I don't even know how I can do it because if the road can cry, the road is crying every day because the duties on the road every day is, is too much for the road to contain. That is the reason why there's no how they can do it, the road will not spoil. Mm. So I want them to look into it, to our Senate members, legislators, House of Rep, and so on and so forth. Let them put in place a real way. It will help. It will help in our exploitation of goods and services. Mm. May God bless you now. Thank you so much. Be praise. I appreciate you. Thank you. All right. Still talking. I was talking about the call, Kevin. I just want to say that first, who brought Sakma <laughs> into our pocket? And those who are responsible should be able to help us and make it better. Okay. This is not a laughing matter, but I'm just trying to take it easy. I'm just trying to put a light on it. And those who are actually brought that brought this to us should to take it back. However, we're just trying to manage Chakma this December. Hello. Sorry for, about that. Uh, so, I said, if you want to enjoy this December, even though we have Sakma, you could set a little budget and stick to it. Now, I, I was talking about before carrying out any expenditure during this period of Sakmarism. 
ensure you have a budget have a budget aids you with streamlining your spending and eliminating unnecessary items now the amount will depend on how much you have set aside for the holiday season okay and that little you can actually manage it and even with the people around you if you're always spending like if you're um you know an impulse spender you spend anyhow you spend heavily december and you you figure out that it's not like that remember there's a lot of people around you they've not even seen a square meal personally some people have not seen actually i can talk about that some people have not even seen two square meal not even, even one good meal so you can help people around you okay if you you used to have five i used to have five square meals <laughs> I used to have five square meals. Now I'm having just two. <laughs> <laughs> but it's it's authentically good because I do a lot of fruits. Huh? But I'm going to go back no matter what. With this small budget, you, have, you can do five depending on your budget. I'm just saying. So, I mean, you could manage. Okay. Manage. Yourself. By... Having a little budget in this Sakbarism or Sakbarism um, 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 period. Also, as you make purchases, be disciplined. That's my advice. Be disciplined enough to spend within your limit. If you are tired down, you're tired down by Sakbar. Then impulse spending should not be your thing. Impulse spending shouldn't be your thing. I mean, a lot of you, you just love to spend. And you, if you have too much, please, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to say it on air. If you have too much, send some to me so we can help people who don't have, like Pascal, who said he's blind. We'll go and find him and give him so he can enjoy. I mean, this is a season, but you need to do something to help others. If you have too much, and if you, but some people don't have too much, but they have a lot. I mean, this is the season for you to help others and keep a little help others. If you if you're if you if you spend if you have a budget of a million every Christmas, you could you could cut it down to three hundred and fifty thousand and give the rest. It's true. I mean, because when you do give to people, it's a blessing. Okay, so impulse spending it shouldn't be on your you know to do list at all. Now, as a tip, consider starting a budget straight after Christmas because for the next year's holiday, it will help. People plan ahead. Starting your saving journey early will give you a lump sum to spend in the next December rather than scrapping together money. So, my advice, you know, have a budget. Impulse spending, stay away from it. And another thing I want to talk about is visit friends and neighbors. Go, look, we don't have, we don't show love anymore. It's crazy that we don't do love no more. We don't have care in our heart anymore. But we, I, we totally understand some people do not have. But for those who have a little and you can manage with others, you just try. It may be, may not really appear obvious, but visiting friends and neighbors is one you know way to avoid hosting guests yourself if you don't want to host guests go visit and give something we understand that the holiday is for making merry and it, and 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 with that comes stocking up your house with food and drinks and when people come to give them rice chicken turkey goat meat pepper soup for those of you from the south south <laughs> uh you know you amala we do oh from the side you know that concussion that a lot of were talking about in the interview when you cannot host guests dress up pay your close associate your you know close associate pay your close associate including work colleagues or even your church members a visit it is the sakba way so you can save a lot because i know that you won't have too much this is just a way to manage your or maximize your sakbarism december 
Okay, that's what I'm talking. This is this is ways I'm bring. This is my own my own thing, you know. So I mean, while we're still gonna be talking about it, I want to be able to hear from you. Call in on our WhatsApp and let me hear. How do you manage? How do you are you how are you coping? How are you managing this December? What is your plan and how to get along on this Sakba December? What do you want to do? What's your plan? Do you, you know, want to take it easy? You want to help people go get them some stuff? I just want to hear from you. And then the WhatsApp line is 0700-903-9039. And then the calling directly is 0700-903-903-903. Someone is greeting. It's, uh, well, blessing from my gig is saying hi to us. Good evening, sir. Blessing for my gay gay. You just called to greet. No problem. We're saying we are saying greetings to you too. Okay, we got a lot of blessing. Blessing from Mangoro and blessing from uh this is from Agege. And that reminds me of Agege bread. If you have Agege bread, share please. <laughs> Share giga bread <laughs> with butter. Look, listen, there's a whole lot of ways you can actually enjoy this Christmas. And one of the ways I know is to share. See, there's power in sharing. Okay? There's power in sharing. And it's really going to be good. But I still want to hear from you. What, how are you coping? And how do you want to go about this Sakba Christmas that this present government has put us inside Sakmanism is is unfair, you know. It's unfair, but we're not going to sit back and just wallow up in our, you know, our misfortune. But we're just going to keep moving. Okay. So I told you another way for this Sakma in um, December for you to, you know, you know, maximize or manage this Sakma December is to go visit. Normally, you know, you stock things in your house when people come, food, drinks. You put open the, the freezer, the refrigerator, or you open the the, the, the the deep freezer. There's a lot of chilled drinks you give to people. It's a time for sharing, blah, blah, blah. But when you don't have enough of that, I think the best thing is to go visit. So you do pay a little bit. Okay. It's like my way. Another thing is avoid family trips. Someone called, a lady called. Uh, her name was seriously very, very difficult because I didn't hear her name. Her voice was muffling, but I think she called from uh, Mafaluku or something. And she said she will not be going to the villa. She doesn't want to go to the villa. The money that she's going to spend down there roughly going and coming is really going to be too much and too high. So she will be sending the money to her family i think you people should emulate emulate that send money to your family instead of traveling i'm gonna be here with some of you we're gonna we're gonna be here together i'm gonna be on air here (laughs) we're gonna do and manage the sakmas since the federal government has actually made us to be surprised we will uh send it back to them <laughs> and so we that's definitely uh, yeah okay so people saying hi to me i am good i am very good <laughs> okay i am very very good in case you're streaming uh, or you're wondering if we do stream for those of you that are listening on terrestrial um air you can uh you can stream on Voice of the People 90.3 and you see us on YouTube and all the social media and then follow us and of course see what we're doing live here in the studio. Okay. All right. Avoid family trips. Of course, the Yuletide is that one time of the year. The season is one time of the year. So when families actually get to see each other um, is 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 sweet. And I know it's really hectic and so hard when people don't travel but you need to avoid some family trips hello yeah 
Hello, I call back. Who's on? Ah, uh, Alpha, you don't know, notice my voice. Now who, who, change vo who voice? Change them. Change them. Who's 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 <laughs> who's on? Say say you say you went to the restroom. What did you? Where did you go to? <laughs> I run out of uh, so, uh, card. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I thought your landlord. Wait, 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 wait! It is that you where you go. You say you go break. You go, you go pee and uh, drink some water and come back. <laughs> that reminds me. <laughs> uh, I used to say tell us that I got a good break now. I come back very soon. Uh, I know. So as I when was I, saying, you know, when I go break, uh, when I go, uh, when I go break, you don't need to know uh, what I'm going to do. It's not your business. No, when I go to go and take water or you know, please. If you're watching me, if you're watching you right some, now, you will know that I'm taking. I don't water. know. You charge, you charge some, you know, wet bill and otherwise. So let's leave that one, Jerry. You know what? Uh, in Nigeria, at least since I was born, come do something. I I, I know when Nigeria move well. I know when government move wrong. So when it comes to a lot, I only package myself and rearrange my plan. Uh, as I was saying before, good thing that they finish. Mm. And the, the dry bone will surely rise again. Rise again. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So that is everything I know. Uh, so uh, for, for me, as it is like this, uh, now you don't know who have a, 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 a what, what do I say, a, a Samaritan, mind and the heart and i just want to beg of us this evening that whosoever want to give an arm or have one another you should be within him and god or uh, within her and god understand and the bible say give when you are giving give wisely and uh, don't give because uh, others are you or maybe they praise you so that's my own advice some people do that to let the god because it's not by your power in the world, no matter how you get it. If, if many people get their money one way or the other, it's just grace. It's there. Many have tried that way, they don't feel it. So as it is now, even if I want to travel, I will drop uh, some things. Because I know when I come back, I don't know what to happen next year. So by, the, by believing God, I know I will see the end of next year. Uh, so, and many more years to come. So that's why I will be able to cut my coat according to my size, as it is now. You know, any time we travel, you know, we travel. Uh, this is what I know. Christmas or not Christmas, you eat rice every day. You drink a lot of things you want to drink every day. So, I don't see the reason why someone, because of this period, this season, you kill yourself or destroy yourself. Some ladies now they will use the opportunity to, you know, destroy their future. Uh, at the end of the day, you see, by January, you see this and don't carry this and don't carry that. So they should come down, come in down. It shall be well. It shall be well. As long as you, someone is living, uh, it shall be well with them. They should come down. Even the mothers, even those who married. A lot of things are going to happen in this period if you don't come down and know it's not permanent. So that's how I look at my own side. I know everything that comes my way will not be a permanent. You just come and go to a visitor. So in Nigeria, I've already swallowed stone for my belly. <laughs> However, I see, I go I move on because they are not care for us. They are care for themselves. Yeah. Understand. Come on, vote. Come on, vote. You may see what they have. But who's you know, a, they don't do. Who's a, you'll be APC person yeah. now. Are you not one of them that voted uh, the uh, the present government? I saw you now when you were making yes. your vote. I, yes. Are you not one of those who voted the present government into power? No. Oh, okay. I'm not one of them. Government don't know me. I don't know government. <laughs> so who's going to come to promise me now? I'm not surviving by government as well as by grace of God. Yes. Those who are working in the government, uh, as I said, so that is, they're not going to cry. They don't pay their salary. They are only in six months, seven months. That one can find them. So 
my own as a by grace of God because I know without government you can live. Because if you are being as a government, please our own will be we have a, a stable life, we have bad bomb water, we have a lot of things because this country, God bless this country. So one not support because of what is happening in this country and go and kill himself because the future is brighter than today and the future is greater than what you are seeing now. That's my own belief. So everyone should calm down, coming down. So the fifth will come and go. Thirty first will come and go. And you come across me here. And now you start from now to plan how you're going to live life in New Year. That is it. You don't plan it from now. How many days are we still meant to go? Forget it. Okay, this is how you come up with the government, blah, 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 voting and orders. And now, next year, I'm going to cut my this, cut my that, so that I can be able to have why the country change the economy. Of course, I will. I think it's move on. That is how it's supposed to be. You can travel at any time. You know, any time we can remember we're coming for village or for anywhere. Mm. So as you come with your good health and so everything is moving on. So everybody should calm down. Advise yourself and you shall be there with us. Okay. Me okay. I greet all of you. Thank you, you, sir. Thank you so much, Juzo, for calling. I appreciate you. And I'm getting a lot of texts. Uh, messages there's coming on our whatsapp portals uh feeling very uncomfortable here but i'm gonna do it okay so this one is actually coming from it's coming from um <laughs> it's coming from ebuka ebuka from isola um ebuka from isola said good evening ryan hope you're good i am good ebuka Due to lots of responsibilities, I was overwhelmed that I even put my main line on flight mood. Why? Why would you do that, Ebuka? Why would you do that? I am scared to my bones. I'll add that to you. To even chat or call someone to ask them how they are doing. If I did, they will be telling me Sakba story up and down. They will be telling me Sakba story up and down. I gave out to a point that I was broke. So now you are surprised. Oh my God. He said, but glory to God. Eh? Last week, my organization gave me or gave me the following for Xmas. One and a half bag of rice. One and a half bag of rice. That's good. 13 packs of table water. Oh, 15 different varieties of parks of juice. My organization produces in one of my organization. 10 liters of vegetable oil. 13 months pay. Is a lie. I, how... Oh, you're just exaggerating. I can't even believe you. 13 months, were they owing you arrears? Were, were, were they owing you before now? Was it arrears? So why are they paying you 13 months pay? Anyway, Xmas bonus in cash was given to him. That's what he said. A carton of tomato paste. At least I will cook these stuffs on Xmas day. Package them in the following order. Two bottles of juice. A plate of rice, table water, and cash of 2K each in the package. It might be small, but will go a long way to put a smile in faces of many people. God bless me more in the future, and I will more. I will more. Or shall I say, uh, I will do more. That's what you wanted to say. It will come from you, Salah. That's, that's a nice one. If you do that, that would be awesome. Okay. And I know where you walk. Oh, they weren't owing you. Okay. All right. So, and they gave you 13 months. I Wait, well, hold on. Am I mistaken? When I saw it, I saw, uh, what is that? Okay. 13, okay. 13th month's pay. Oh, fine. I got it now. 13th month pay. Instead of uh, at the end of the month, it was being paid early. 
Okay, so that's nice. That's nice. I got you. So, Ebuka, if you say you want to do this for to put a smile, to, yeah, that's correct. <laughs> You're listening. So, I mean, if you want to do that to be able to package what you promise you, you're going to package to be able to help people, that would be nice. That would be awesome. That would be awesome. And now, I will appreciate that. And, and God is going to bless you for, for that, whether you're a Muslim, you believe in Islam, you're a Christian, you're a Buddhist, you're a Shituish, you are a Voodooist. <laughs> or however, just try and do good because everybody wants to be good. Try and do good. Try and help somebody out there. All right, my time is going 11.47 and I got another text uh, message here that I, I must take. Let me see. Okay. Blessing from Mangrove. Blessing. How many? How many? How many lines do you have? Ah, it's a shock mirror. Okay. So. Okay. So blessing is saying amen to the prayers from Uzo. We're gonna survive. Bless. 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 Okay. So I I got you. Uh. All right. Okay. All right. So I am going to be, I'm going to be uh, talking about, for those of you that want to travel, um, I've got a, a concept. It's very simple. Before you travel, check your budget, figure out exactly what you have. If it's not enough for you to be able to go out there, you know that if Sakba is in Lagos, you know, definitely it will be more in the villa in your country home there will be a lot of sakma except you do have a lot and you have budgeted for a long time people outside the country i have already you know make some budget i know a lot a lot is not going to come someone like cheesy obiora my guy in canada and the rest of them are not coming back they are not coming this Christmas. So what they're going to do is just send, according to what they told me, they go, they're going to send um, their money. Do you know how much it is right now to fly down to Nigeria? Except you have a whole lot and you have properly budgeted for your coming in and any other thing that you wanted to do. It would be better you do not come if you don't have enough. So avoid family trips. Okay. Uh, at some point, you realize that a trip will cost a dent in your budget. The best thing to do, I'll say it again, the best thing to do is to avoid that expenditure and hope for a better year ahead. So when, if you're getting like the 2024 student office, we're going to get the 2024. It will be better for you to start making your plans. You make your plans ahead. Okay, <laughs> you make your plans ahead. So when you make your plans ahead, from now, and it's about definitely it's going to be crazy, even worse, by, by January, because that's when the whole place is going to look real dry, because everybody actually has gone travel make some expenditure they've done a lot of spending that's when you're going to be like you know so you must make plans and prepare for the next year with the plans you know what to adjust <laughs> all right okay so that's that and after all so much has been said about village people and their ways okay i can see that I get the messages. Yes, yes. That that shows you're listening. You keep you keep bringing it. So, what is Christmas without a tree? If you don't have a tree, you don't need to. Don't worry. Don't decorate. If you if you go and buy a wooja tree and keep it in your hands and decorate it with light, fine, no problem. However, you want to do it. It uh, if it's if it's not small, you want to make it big and you have it fine. Go ahead. But if not, please don't. Okay. All right. I'll end it.
I, I do appreciate everyone calling. Uh, <laughs> there must not be tree now. Some people. <laughs> some people like to have Christmas trees. There mustn't be any tree. You mustn't look. Just just have a little budget, low budget. Be calm. Don't travel. Instead, send the money to your people out there for them to enjoy whatever. And then, you know, try and manage the little that you have. And then if you have a little and you have too much and a whole lot, make sure you share with people. You know, today is just the biggest, the biggest advice I've ever gotten. So I'm going to, I've not gotten the information from Olabisi, but this week, possibly I'm going to get the information for those who want some stuff. I'm going to get some and I'll share it. And if it's money, I'll share it. But also... The man that's sharing money and, and food, the organizations will give some things for, like Olabisi said, we'll be sharing some stuff for people who don't have at all. And um, people like me, <laughs> we, you know, they say <laughs> the one carrying the cross, the one actually giving, or the one carrying the serious cross, a lot of people don't know, but we hope that God is going to do it for us, Okay. So, but don't worry, uh, like Pascal, who called in and said he's uh, handicapped, don't worry, God is going to see you through. I'm very sure there's going to be a lot of opportunities for giveaways. So, we're going to have a lot of giveaways that will come through, possibly from here. And uh, I will announce it in the place where you can get such now, for those of you who want to uh, reach out to Olabisi, Pastor Olabisi is, um, I'm going to give you his social and his ex. I think his IG is active and um, possibly um, IG and um, Twitter, which is X. Okay. So um, you kill, could reach Olabisi, Pastor Olabisi, the live coach, the IG is at I am Oluyele at I am Oluyele that's her IG and also her X page at I am that's I am Olu O-L-U-Y-E-L-E Oluyele I am Oluyele at IG and at X so you can um, follow her, getting some information. I'm very sure I'm going to get, uh, I'm really going to get the information where I'm going to lay it down before Christmas and then something good is going to come out. All right. So I want to thank everyone. I want to thank everyone. And also, if you want to, if you want to send an email to her also, uh, I think I've got her email here. Her email address is Olu Oluadebiyi. Olu Oluadebiyi. Okay. Oluadebiyi at gmail.com. Oluadebiyi at gmail.com. That's for um, Pastor BC, who I had an interview with, talking about how to maximize and manage the Sapa December. Okay. So. The Olua Debi at gmail.com is spelled O L U A D E B I Y I at gmail.com. There's a whole lot that will be coming on, and uh, to don't worry yourselves, just believe, and we'll, we're gonna we're gonna get something. But some some people in churches will help, some people's organizations will help. But I'm very sure that one of the things that Nigerians know how to do. And they're trying is to help one another. Okay. All right, guys. I'll see you tomorrow sometime here at 9 o'clock till 12. I am Ryan Terrence. And I, tomorrow we are talking about something very, very cool. And uh, maybe I'm just going to let you guys know about it. It's uh, my handle. <laughs> Not yet. I'm having a problem with my socials. <laughs> I'm having a problem with my socials. I'm going to 
I'm going to let it out soon enough before Christmas. I'll be able to do that. But right now, no follow up until then. All right. So be it. <laughs> Shout out to everybody who called in. I am very grateful to Chidera, to Akuchinere, uh, Uzor. I am grateful to Big Prince, everyone who called in. Thank you. I appreciate you guys. Be blessed and Merry Christmas in advance.